Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori Hill and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. I also talk about celebrities and the particular products that they may use. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe. In this video, we are going to be talking about the beautiful and successful Lauren Sanchez. Now, Lauren is known today as mostly being associated with Jeff Bezos, but she is quite successful in her own right. Lauren Wendy Sanchez was born on December 19, 1969 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She can be described as a media personality who has captivated audiences as an entertainment reporter and news anchor. She has graced the screens as a guest host on The View and co-hosted Good Day LA, as well as being a special correspondent on the show Extra. Her dynamic presence has also been a regular feature on popular shows like Larry King Live, The Joy Behar Show, and Showbiz Tonight. Lauren's career actually started out pretty humbly. She was an assistant at a television station, and later she gained significant recognition as a reporter for the entertainment show Extra. Now, Lauren later became the original host of Fox's hit dance competition, So You Think You Can Dance. And in 2016, she founded Black Ops Aviation, the first female-owned aerial film and production company. As I said before, Lauren is also known for her pretty public relationship with Jeff Bezos. She's often seen on his arm at many events and she is his girlfriend. Now with Lauren increasingly being in the spotlight, there are many people speculating whether she's had some type of plastic surgeries or cosmetic procedures to keep her looking so young and glamorous. In today's video, we are going to analyze that. This video is my off the cuff video, so it's not scripted. I know a lot of you like that. It's really important that you remember that everything I say in this video is my opinion only. It's completely all my opinions and I have no proof or receipts that the celebrity has had any of the procedures done that I analyze them having. Make sure to never use my opinion as a reason to go hate or shame on that celebrity's social media channels. Now let's get started. Here's Lauren in her early days. Now the early photos of Lauren are few and far between. Here we see her as a very young child and what a cutie she was. And the next photos that are available, you've probably seen already if you've seen other videos on Lauren. And those are right here from the 1980s. Now, let's look at this first photo. I really want to comment on Lauren's natural beauty traits from these photos. I love her gorgeous, striking eyes. And I love that she has that youthful hooded look to them. I think that is so endearing and sweet. I also noticed that she has a gorgeous and already glamorous smile. You can see a lot of teeth when she smiles, both upper and lower, and she just has a very striking smile. Lastly, I love her gorgeous wide facial structure. She has a very nice bone structure to begin with, even if she did make tweaks here and there later on or had surgery, she had a great base starting out. Now take a look here at another photo from the 1980s. I believe this was some type of a bikini competition. And I really love this photo because she looks so much like a starlet or kind of like she'd be like maybe on Saved by the Bell. She looks a bit like Tiffany Amber Theason. Do you guys see that? Let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, she just is very beautiful already, even as a young adult. In this video, we will be talking about Lauren's body plastic surgery procedures. And so here is kind of a baseline for Lauren's body. And as you can see, she looks natural here. Now, it's about 2001 that I noticed that her nose looks different. Now, I do want to mention that there are a few fuzzy photos prior to these competition photos where we can somewhat see Lauren's original nose. It's hard to tell if what we're seeing in these 1980s photos is a nose job or not. There are plenty of people who do have this for a natural nose, the one we see in the 1980s photos. But I did want to note that, of course, 
possible because we don't have many photos from before this time, but that this is a surgical nose job. I'm just not 100% certain, so I did want to let you know about that. Here's the time period where I can be certain that I do see a rhinoplasty, and that would be in 2001. We see Lauren looking fresh-faced, very almost makeup-free and gorgeous, and her nose does look like it's on the thinner side than what it was. If we look here in 2002, we see that there's even some redness at the base of her nostrils, and that to me is usually a dead ringer for some type of nose base reduction. You could call it scarring. I definitely see that, so I wanted to comment on that. I also noticed that her nose looks more narrow than in the 80s photos, and her tip cartilages have been shaved down, and this is the area right here. They've been shaved down and made smaller making the whole nose look more narrow it's a pretty standard rhinoplasty and nothing too overdone it suited her really well from these photos it also looks like there may have been a subtle chin implant placed to give her face a longer and more elegant look there also looks to have been some significant facial fat loss that occurred between the 1980s and the early 2000s which was likely natural given lauren's age range at the time now, another thing I wanted to mention in 2001 and 2002 is I do notice that Lauren's brows are higher and much of that hooding to her upper lid is gone. Now, normally, if I had really great photos, we could see the progression of her having some type of eye work done but since we only have these photos from 1980s and then the next one is from here in 2001 this is likely just natural because if you look at her brows in the 80s it just looks like she lost that hood and sometimes you can lose that hood later as you get older and you mature but on her i still see the hood above her eyes so i'm just not convinced that there was that early of work done. Of course it's possible, but I'm just not convinced of it. It's possible in 2001 and then 2002 that she did begin to get Botox and that kind of helped the hooding to her upper eyelid. But again, I'm not seeing anything really more than possible Botox, which by that point was being used. Now in 2003, I see with this smile that she has somewhat of a gummy smile. I think it's super adorable, but I just want you to know that this is when her lips were still natural, so she did show more gum. It also looks like Lauren's once natural breasts have been augmented. It looks like she's gotten implants as of 2000. Now, could it have happened earlier? Sure, but this is kind of the first photo where I really see it. In 2004, we see some changes to Lauren's face. I call them more of a glamorous change, sort of like an attempt to make someone look more glamorous, starting with her upper lip. With her upper lip, we are now seeing the inside edges of her lips, the part that usually is brushing against the teeth. This is generally a lip that is a result of getting a lip implant. And this is the first appearance of her lip looking this way. So I think this was a lip implant that she added here to give her lip more outward protrusion, possibly fullness. Then I also notice that her lateral cheeks, so the area right here, has become much more projected laterally. So when you look at her, instead of there being a flatness here, it now protrudes outward. This is cheek implants in my opinion. They're likely malar cheek implants and they are on the larger side. If we look at the 2003 photo, there is a flatness right under her eye and no outward lateral projection to that cheek. We only have forward projection, which is indicated right here. And then if we look to 2004, we see that there's a bunch of lateral projection there and we've seen a filling in of her under eyes. What I think was done was there was cheek implants added along with a mid face lift. And this is something that back in 2004 through about 2010, we saw a lot of plastic surgeons doing these mid face lifts. They generally were done alongside cheek implants, but not always. And a mid face lift will lift any extra tissue you have here upwards towards your cheek and your under eyes and it will fill in the under eyes and that's what it's doing for Lauren here. In this photo in 2004 she looks fresh out of a mid-face lift like I think she's still getting that beneficial swelling that comes with one 
And yeah, so she just looks freshly out from one. It's also possible that they, in the same mid face lift surgery, they also anchored on to her eye corners and also her eyebrow to lift it somewhat as well. Not crazy lifted, but there looks like a pull to that lateral brow tail to me, to my eye. Now speaking of skin and how pivotal it is for maintaining youth and beauty, I did want to mention that I am still using the Blue Mean Face Pro and I absolutely still love it. This has been a favorite on the show. You guys love this product because of its simplicity, its ease of use, and the fact that you don't need to use any serums or slimy stuff on your face first and it actually works. Let me show you what I love about it. As you can probably tell, you guys can always tell differences on my face. One of my brows is higher than the other. So I think it's this brow is higher than this brow. So I love to use it there first because it really lifts up that brow. Let's see if we can do it there. And, but you can use it all over your face. You can use it on your brow, your cheek, and your jawline. And I like to leave it on my bed stand. I use it three times a week. And that's enough to see a difference for my face. So let's start here. By the way, this is like super relaxing. I have such a strong brow on this side. And you guys know that I've had a facelift, but that was almost like four and a half years ago, I guess now. So I just, I need to maintain it. It's not like a magical youth pill or whatever that like once you have a facelift that's it you still need to maintain it i love this for that okay do you see the difference do you see how this is higher now let's do my cheek and then jawline it's just so relaxing too you know so it's like it's not giving you like electric shock which I hate. I hate when there's a device that works, but it's giving you like pain. Like why? Why would you need that if one there's one that works that doesn't do that? So I see the difference. Like to me, this side looks higher. So if you want to try this little miracle device, it is a very inexpensive investment for something that actually works and is so simple to use. So Blue Mean is giving my audience $70 off of the retail price. It's usually 150 and it's for the first 100 people that use my link below. And if you don't have any results, you don't have to pay. They will give you your money back. That is so awesome. Now, if it sells out, don't worry because every few weeks, Bloomin will activate the link again, so check back. And like, I know this might seem like an ad, which it is, but the thing is like, it works. Like you saw it work, so I think you should try it. If you are looking for some lift, like I am always, thank you so much to Bloomin for sponsoring my video. You may be wondering why would they do a cheek lift if you're already getting cheek implants? And that's a great question. It's because many plastic surgeons feel that they they would like to secure the cheek implant into that tissue envelope and doing the cheek lift or a mid face lift helps them to do that now take a look at lauren here in 2005 i see that now the lip implants that i believe she had done is covering the gummy portion of her smile and i think that's one thing she intended for it to do and i also noticed that there is now somewhat of a hollow under her cheekbone and I think a lot of you may feel like this is buckle fat removal. I am not so sure of that because oftentimes when there's an addition of a cheek implant to a face that was starting to get gaunt like Lauren's was, you'll just naturally get that hollow right there without needing buckle fat removal. I'm hesitant to say that that's buckle fat removal. Now between 2006 and 2009, there's not much really to speak on, not many photos are there. So we're gonna go to 2009 now. And in 2009, I'm starting to notice that her face is taking on kind of an overfilled effect. Um, she's still dropped at gorgeous, but I am noticing that there's just more fullness to her under eyes and just the whole upper portion of her face. This could be a result of adding filler, adding fat, but something was filled there in my opinion. It's possible she had fat placed above that cheek implant to soften the look. This is very common for people. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say it's fat. It looks more like fat than it does filler. It looks 
a bit more chunky and substantial. So I'm going to call that a fat transfer. We also see again that her upper lip is taking that same shape. It's done over the years, which makes me again certain that it's not lip filler. It's instead this lip implant because otherwise we would see a lot of variation in the look of it if, if it was like a lip filler. Going now to 2010, I am seeing, again, more fullness to that cheek area. Otherwise, her skin looks amazing. Her face is lighter than her body. It's possible she had a CO2 laser performed, a few sessions of that to really keep her skin in this beautiful of condition, but she does have naturally beautiful skin as well. Now in 2011, I see much larger cheeks than she had before. I think she may have had her cheek implants revised and gotten a larger pair. I also see some pulling at the scalp above her eyebrows right here. And this is quite likely the brow lift that she had earlier along with the mid face lift, if not a separate brow lift, because I did wonder back here in 2009, if possibly she did have an actual brow lift, not one that just involved the mid face, but a real brow lift. So seeing this here, it makes me now say that she also likely had a brow lift in 2011. Now in 2012, there's not been much change. Everything sort of settled in nicely. In 2013, still looks like the same person, looks quite a bit thinner. I'm seeing a lot of Botox in this photo. I'm gonna call it overly Botoxed. I see kind of a more frozen expression, still beautiful. I just wanted to comment on that. Now from 2015 till 2017, there weren't many photos. It's like she disappeared from the scene. There were a couple in 2017, so I'm gonna show you. Here's 2017, and this isn't very good lighting, but it just shows what her face looks like there. Yeah, and I'm not seeing you know the usual glamorous makeup, so that's a good check-in for 2017. Now 2018, it looks like there's been either a removal of cheek implants or a downsize because I'm just not seeing what I usually see with the lateral contours of her face, so we'll watch that. Now 2019, again, not many photos for that year, but we see some cheek filler because there's like a very sharp angle. I don't know if this is cheek filler or fat transfer, but it's a filler. I see some light aging to her lower face and her neck. There's somewhat of a sag. And I also see that her upper eyelids are hooded again and there's a bit of sag to her upper lids. I also see that her mouth corners are now turned down. These are all normal age-related changes. Now in 2020, I see that her eyes look more refreshed. It looks like the hood above her upper eyelid has been reduced, though not completely. It looks like she's had a preservation upper blepharoplasty where they try to preserve the hood to her upper lid. Now in 2021, I see that her upper brow area, it indeed looks like there was a brow lift in the past because we see kind of that characteristic pulling effect. This could also be threading. She may have gotten thread, but I did want to mention that from the side, we see that extended brow and the lateral brow tail that's straight instead of curved down. We see she hasn't had a facelift yet because her lower face is still the same as well as her neck also is still loose, but she looks absolutely beautiful and doesn't necessarily need anything. I'm just telling you, this is where we're at right now. 2022, this is where I believe, in my opinion, Lauren gets a face and neck lift. We see that whatever was done to her upper brow has been refreshed. It looks like there has been something quite recent done, maybe a brow lift revision. I also see that there's a pulling now at her ear and a pretty kind of an obvious, kind of an obvious incision mark from a facelift. But even if it wasn't there, just comparing uh, 2021 neck with 2022 neck and the lower face, you can very obviously see that there was a face and neck lift done as well as a refresh to her brows. 
Now in 2023, I see that Lauren may have had implants placed, larger implants than before. I believe this would be her third pair of implants, if not her fourth pair. Let's do a compare and contrast again between 2021 and 2023. This is where I'm wondering if there was possibly a lower blepharoplasty. It's hard to tell. It is the same makeup, but I feel like I'm seeing kind of a pull down effect to her lower eyelids. Now it could just be makeup, so I don't want to call that out. It just kind of looks like the same makeup, but now there's kind of a pulling effect and I will acknowledge that there is definitely some individual lashes on her lower lash line that could be creating this effect. What I'm mainly looking at when I say pull down is if you look at her upper eyelid, it looks almost somewhat shut and it looks like that lower eye corner is pulling down there. Now as far as lips, there may have been some lip filler added here on top of the lip implant, but I, I think she still has that lip implant. As we go into 2024, I thought these photos were really cool. It's her with Selma Hayek and, and it just shows, you know, that she looks like her face and neck lift have really settled in. More evidence possibly of her getting lip filler on top of her lip implant. And I do think there's been at least a second rhinoplasty done. Now the rhinoplasty could have been like a finesse touch up tweak and I will fully acknowledge and this is important that with Lauren I think there's been a lot of tweaks where like something very small was done and it's harder to catch so I am going to call it a second rhinoplasty but I also want you to assume there's been jaw filler, other small fillings along the way. It's just that because there's been, in my opinion, numerous ones and small ones done, it's just too hard to clock. But the end result looks like there's been significant filler done in different areas of her face. Now take a look at this full body photo of Lauren and she's kept herself in amazing shape. Now I will kind of acknowledge that there may have been some liposuction, possibly a tummy tuck done as her tummy is extremely flat and not that, you know, everyone with a flat stomach who's older had a tummy tuck, but there are significant markings of a possible tummy tuck. Just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. Also looks like there's been some fat transfer possibly to the butt area just to give her kind of a shapelier look. Along with a tummy tuck, there's often abdominal liposuction, which is pretty common here in LA and in, in the entertainment industry, if you will. Now let's take a look at Lauren's teeth. From this photo, it does look like Lauren has had cosmetic dentistry done to her teeth with at least eight veneers or crowns, possibly more. Let's add up all of Lauren's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures, and I'll tell you how much it costs to look like the beautiful Lauren Sanchez. All prices are based at the high end of the price range. First rhinoplasty, 10,000. First implants, 10,000. Lip implant, 10,000. Mid facelift, 15,000. Cheek implants, 5,000. Upper face fat transfer, 5,000. Cheek implant exchange, 5,000. CO2 laser treatments, many over time, 40,000. Brow lift, 20,000. Botox for multiple years, 20,000. Cheek implant removal, 2,500. Cheek filler or fat transfer, 5,000. Upper blepharoplasty, 8,000. Face and neck lift, 200,000. Brow lift revision, 30,000. Second implants, 30,000. Lip filler over time, 7,000. Second rhinoplasty, 20,000. Tummy tuck, 30,000. Third implants with a possible lift, 30,000. Abdominal liposuction, 20,000. Fat transfer to the butt, 20,000. Cosmetic dentistry, 50,000. Chin implant, 3,500. Total cost, $596,000. That's all I have for you guys today. Remember that Lauren is beautiful before and after. Please comment below who else you would like me to review. Remember guys to go visit my sponsor, Blue Mean. It helps my channel so much and helps me to keep doing these videos for you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>